Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Ranking is a common step in data analysis because rankings are often used to sort, group, or filter data frames. In this video, I will take you through various methods of ranking in Python. Let's start with a simple exercise from Airbnb. Based on the guest database provided, we will have to rank guests based on their ages in descending order. To start off, we'll create a new column called rank whose value will be based on the age column. And you need to remember that by default, rank is based on ascending order, which means that the youngest visitor will be uh, ranked first. So because we want the opposite, we need to specify this as a parameter using ascending equal to false to explicitly mention that we need it in the descending order. So now our oldest guest is ranked first Notice here that we have some ties and this is a common scenario when it comes to ranking. Ranking can be done in different ways depending on how you want to handle the ties. Typically, we give the same ranks to tied groups and this is what the default option does. Under the average method, tied groups inherit the average of the individual row's original ranks. For example, we have two guests age 27 whose ranks should have been 6th and 7th, but because it is a tie, they are now effectively sharing a rank. So they'll be ranked 6.5, which is the average between 6 and 7. Similarly, we have guests age 24, who are also sharing the 8th and 9th ranks. Under the average method, they are both given 8.5 instead. Note that because the default method calculates the average, you may get ranks with decimal places instead of whole numbers. Other methods like min, max, and dense will return whole number rankings. Let's investigate the min, max ranking method through this question from Yelp. In this question, we are given a list of businesses and are asked to identify the top cities with the most five-star businesses. In case of ties, we need to return the lowest rank of the tied groups instead of the average. The minimum method, like the average, assigns the same rank to elements with the same value, but instead of taking average ranking of the tied group, it will use the minimum rank instead. Say we already calculated the number of 5-star businesses per city, we can create a ranking column based on the highest number of 5-star businesses and use the minimum method for ranking. So in this method, both Las Vegas and Toronto will get a rank of 2, because we've taken the minimum of the two ranks, 2 and 3. This means that we are effectively skipping the third rank, and the more tied elements we have, the more ranks we are skipping as well. Another example is Scottsdale, Madison, Gilbert, Urbana, and Edinburgh would have been ranked 4, 5, 6, and 7, and 8. However, with the minimum method, all of them receive a ranking of 4. So now we've skipped the ranks 5, 6, 7, and 8, and the next rank we have is 9. The max method works in the same way, except that the tied elements are given the maximum rank for that group. So if we were to change the minimum method to max and run the output, here we have Las Vegas and Toronto given the ranks of 3. Comparing the two methods now, Las Vegas and Toronto have been ranked 3rd instead of second and the second tied group have all been given the eighth rank and we've skipped the ranks four five six and seven did you notice that average min and max ranking method create a gap in ranking if this is an issue try using the dense ranking method instead in the event of ties dense ranking assigns consecutive ranks with no gaps so it doesn't matter how many entities are tied for a rank, you'll always have a rank 1, 2, 3, and so on. To demonstrate this, let's look at another problem from Airbnb. We are asked to rank hosts by the most number of beds, meaning we'll have to rank hosts in descending order of total beds listed. In addition, there shouldn't be any gaps in case of ties, meaning we should use the dense ranking method. Under the dense ranking method, imagine that the function only looks at the unique values of the column and assigns a rank based on this such that the record inherits the ranking regardless of how many rows have the same value. And here's the solution for this problem. Let's run the code and evaluate the output. 
For example, we have the following unique values for the number of beds, 16, 8, 6, 5, and 4, 3, 2. These are assigned ranks 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7, respectively. While we have the three hosts with four beds, they will all get a rank of 5, and the next rank is 6. So for comparison, let me add the average and minimum ranking. All right, if we run each of these, let's look at the output. As you'll see, the next rank after the first tight group is not six as we have here in dense. It's 8.5 and eight. So the special thing about dense is that it isn't affected by ties. The first tied group is fifth and the second group is sixth regardless of how many hosts tie for each of these places and regardless of how many ties there were for the ranks before it. Under other ranking methods, the ranks will change depending on how many ties there were for that specific rank and the ones before it. So for all methods we've covered, give the same rank to elements with the same value. But what if you needed each record to have a unique ranking? If each row needs to have its own rank, try using the first method. Let's explore this through a new problem. In this question from Google, we're asked to rank each user in terms of their mail activity. The records must be sorted by total emails in descending order first, then by alphabetical order for ties. So the rank must be unique even if multiple users have the same number of emails. In case of ties, ranks are just assigned in the order that they appear in the array. So it's helpful to sort your data frame first using the sort values function before ranking it. So as you see here, despite having numerous tied groups, each rank is given to only one user. Therefore, we have all the ranks from one all the way down to 25. Now that we've gone through all the methods, let's recap our learnings for today. Number one, by default, the rank function is based on the ascending order and uses the average rank for tied groups. There are many methods for ranking and your choice can be influenced by one, how you want your ties to be handled. All except the first ranking method will give the same rank to tied elements. Two, whether ranks should be a whole number. The default option, that is average, can result in ranks with decimal places. If this isn't so intuitive to the user, you might want to use other methods instead. Number three, whether ranks can be skipped or not. If you want to ensure ranks are consecutive with no gaps, use the dense or the first ranking methods. And there you have it. Thanks for watching this and hope you learned other ways to create rankings today.